2007 through 2011 Honda CRV upper and lower torque engine mount replacement. I'm Brian Essa from How To Automotive. I'm gonna walk you step by step through the process of replacing those mounts. So we're gonna start with the top mount first. You're gonna need a 17 millimeter socket and a little impact gun or a ratchet and wrench. I'm gonna use my Milwaukee mid torque here to make quick work of this. So you go ahead and remove this bolt here and the two bolts here and here for the mount. Having tools like this Milwaukee mid torque impact wrench uh, really makes a big difference. Doing this by hand would probably take you 15-20 minutes with the impact tools you can do it in two or three minutes. Now we need to remove the power steering reservoir from its perch so you're going to pry this little tab over and you're going to pull straight up and lift the uh, reservoir off. We're not going to unconnect the hoses or anything we're just going to push it over to the side. Then we're going to remove two bolts down here the 10 millimeter here and here and then we're just going to push the bracket to the side like this. Now we can take the mount here and pull it out of the car that gives us plenty of clearance to remove it now we're ready to install the new mount with the little hump right here goes upwards so you're going to put it in just like this with that little hump pointing facing upwards so you'll feed it into position to help line up the bolt holes i use a little screwdriver to pry it into position now i'm going to put a little blue thread locker on the threads on the uh, bolts here this is a little glue to help prevent these from vibrating loose and coming back off i'll leave a link for that in the description now you can go ahead and start all three of the bolts if you're having trouble starting the bolts, you may use a pry bar and kind of pry the mount, the rubber portion of the mount into position to help start the bolts. So I'm going to use the impact gun to run the bolts down just until they're snug. I'm not tightening them with the uh, impact gun. I'm just running them down to they're snug. After that, I'll tighten them up with a torque wrench. Now with a torque wrench, you can go ahead and torque all three of the bolts down to 54 foot pounds. Also, when you're torquing the bolts down, you don't want to jerk the torque wrench. You want to ease the pressure on, and that gives you an accurate torque. Now you can go ahead and position the bracket that held the reservoir back into place and start the two 10 millimeter bolts. A little tip for when you're starting the bolts is, is to put a piece of paper in the socket and then put the bolt in there, and that way it'll hold it into position while you feed it down into, into place and start the bolts. Now you can take the power steering reservoir and just push it back into to the slot like this and push it down to it clicks. Make sure that little tab is, uh, is pushed over so it doesn't pop back out. Now we're going to lift the vehicle up. If you're doing this at home, use floor jacks and jack stands to get the front of the vehicle up as high as you can. Right next to the oil filter here is the motor mount or the torque mount. So we're going to remove the three bolt. So we're going to get started by removing the two 17 millimeter uh, bolts here. I'm using the, the Milwaukee MIG torque again to uh, make quick work of that. I'll link this up in the description of the video. The one bolt in the back here is a 19 millimeter, so we need to switch over to a 19 millimeter socket and go ahead and remove this bolt. Now you can just pull the mount out and set aside. Here's a good look at what these mounts look like when they're broken. Before I install the new mount, I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of that blue thread locker on the threads. That way these bolts don't back themselves back out. I'll link this up in the description along with all the parts. Now we're gonna take the mount and we're gonna feed it in like this. So you want the, the ears there angled upwards like that and then you can go ahead and start the uh, larger bolt you want to install this one first once you got the larger bolt in run into about three quarters of the way now we can start the two front ones here if you notice the mount doesn't line up so you're going to take a pry bar and pry the mount engine and rock it into position then you can go ahead and start the two bolts then you can torque these down to 54 foot pounds and then the larger bolt back here you're going to torque it down to 69 foot pounds so i will put links in the description of the video for the parts and the tools that I use to repair this vehicle. That way if you need to pick any of these up, they're there for you. I'm Brian Nissa from How To Automotive. I'd like to thank you guys for watching my videos. Encourage you to subscribe. Invite you to head over to the howtoautomotive.com website for more valuable videos like this. And I'd like to thank you again for watching.